Here's how to fix if the Wi-Fi button is grayed out on Android. Now, if you needed to toggle the Wi-Fi on or off or connect to a Wi-Fi, but it's grayed out, I'll show you how to fix it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing that we'll do is swipe up from here and get into your settings. So tap on settings and then tap on connections at the very top. Once you're in here, the first and obvious thing is if you are able, you can just toggle off Wi-Fi and toggle it back on. After you've done that and you can tap on it, you should be able to connect to your local network. But if it's still grayed out or it's still not working, the next thing I would recommend doing is going back out of here and we'll try airplane mode. So turn airplane mode on. You can also just swipe down from the top right and tap on the airplane icon to initiate it and then turn off airplane mode just to reconnect it to everything. If this doesn't fix it, the next thing that I would recommend doing is hopping out of here and you can either swipe down and tap on the little power button and hit restart or you can also just press and hold the power button and hit the restart button. So just restart your phone, you'd be surprised how many times this fixes bugs and glitches on an Android phone. If that doesn't fix it though, let's go back into your settings, tap on settings here, and we'll go back to the beginning. Now, from the beginning, all we're gonna do is go down until we find the option for general management and tap on that and then scroll down to the bottom and tap on reset at the bottom. From here, all you need to do is scroll down and you can see reset Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings. Just tap on that and you'd be surprised how many times this fixes the issue. Just tap on the blue reset button and it should fix that issue. The last thing I would recommend doing if it doesn't fix the issue is it could be a glitch or a bug in the Android operating system. So go all the way to the back tap on software update, and then download and install, and check to see if there's a software update for the Android operating system and update to the latest version. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.